everybody. It is Purple Friday. Are we excited or what? We're excited. Yes! Yeah! Sorry. Our neighbor, there's like a house. Right? I'm so sorry, by the way. The All right. The holiday are like, what is happening? Oh my gosh. Gas hey, prices. Um, okay, we have to go over here because this is so cool. Sean, you are an incredible artist. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about how long you've been drawing chalk art. This is incredible. Well, thank you. I've been uh, doing chalk art for about 20 years. And so this one I did in about an hour this morning. And so a uh, really fun piece to create. And, and uh, it's always fun when you can make a mess on uh, the driveway or sidewalk or whatever. Where can people find you? And uh, how does this work? Like they hire you to come to their events? They do, and for example, this weekend there's a chalk festival up in Monticello, Let's Chalk, that we're bringing in some of the top street artists from around the world, and so at the community center there. And it's just really exciting when you can create ephemeral art, which is just temporary art, and really take advantage of the space, and then people can watch these masterpieces come to life. And, and so, yes? Yeah, come over here. Get over here. <laughs> All right, so I had a question. So we have uh, the parking lot's kind of old. Yep. You know, it's kind of junky. Does that make it di <laughs> uh, Does that make it really difficult? Because I'm like, I expected you to need like a smooth surface. It does make it a little difficult. I mean, you can definitely see the texture in the piece, but we work with whatever we can. And sometimes it's on brick. Sometimes it's on, you know, nice new asphalt and stuff like that. So, but it still was a lot of fun. And, and uh, I, think it, I think it came across pretty good. All right, this weekend. Do you think Kirk Cousins would invite you over? You could add this to his driveway? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we could make it 3D. He could be popping out of the driveway. He could be doing all sorts of things. So. Have you worked with the Vikings before? Yes. Uh, on, okay. the, on the launch of the U.S. Bank Stadium, I did a giant 3D piece that uh, was a Viking ship coming out of the ground, and you could pose with it and all that kind of fun stuff. So That's have amazing. worked with him before, yeah. Uh, the COO is right over there, so go <laughs> and like nudge him. Be like, hey, hire me. Well, this is amazing. Again, this weekend, Monticello. Let's chalk. Yes, absolutely. We hope to see you there. You rock, Sean. This is sweet, and hopefully this will be. I like don't want it to rain, John. It, <laughs> maybe Saturday is a bust. It, it might. If it doesn't rain Saturday, it might not rain for a week. I'm tarping it. This. I don't even want to step on it. It's so cool. All right, we're gonna get to the party. Woo! All right, VWO Vikings World Order is here. I'm a member. I've been knighted. I'm a super Vikings fan. Jen wants to become a member. And John, are you a member? Can I be a me can I be a member too? Oh, yeah, sure. Can this happen right now? Maybe. All right. So who's gonna who's gonna talk? Oh, oh, hey, Carl. Carl, this is Carl. All right. Here we go. What do they gotta do to be a VWO member? Right, just two uh, questions. Uh, do you swear to be a Viking fan for the rest of your life, and do you swear to serve the Viking <laughs> world order with honor and integrity for the rest of your life? I do. I, I do. Now he draws blood right, from your hand. Yeah. Lady, uh, what's your name going to be? Jennifer Austin. Lady Jennifer. <laughs> what's your name going to be? <laughs> well, you can make up a name. Like, oh, my I name's not really it? Sir Death, right. believe it oh, or not. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I met you in. Hammer Ziegler. I met you in as Sir Hammer Ziegler. Uh, yeah! 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 Oh, my God! So they... Excuse me, Mr. Death? Yeah. Mr. Death? Doesn't he have to get a tattoo? What? Doesn't he have to get a tattoo? Not for honorary. Okay. Not for, we don't, you don't have to do this. Oh my god. Fight, fight, fight! Go Vikings! Run out the score! You're in a camp for more! B-I-K-I-N-G-S! Let's go back here. Come on, Nate, follow along. Woo! Oh, there's a TV? Oh my gosh, you guys don't, you, okay. You guys are Hello, we're, you're with US Bank Stadium. Tell us about yourself. My name is Frankie Berberina. I'm the executive chef for the US Bank Stadium. Um, I'm here with, uh, oh goodness, Sobel. <laughs> and he can uh, go through his food here. All right. What are we, what's on the menu at Sobel at U.S. Bank Stadium? Yes, we're brand new in Section 317 this year. Very mm. excited. We have our Caribbean bowl here. We got a little Drake chicken, plantains, and yellow rice. We also got our Rude Boy chicken and waffles. 
And then we'll be selling these delicious blueberry lavender this lemonades. Is a blood bag. It's a little blueberry lavender yeah, lemonade. Blood bag. It tastes a lot better than a blood bag. Uh, and then also our donut peach cobbler. So we got a little dessert. Ooh, donut peach cobbler. Got a little cobbler. spice. Got a couple of little warm entrees to keep things warm for the, for the season. Amazing. Thank you for coming out and showcasing what you guys have. I know Johnny's been eyeing up some jerk chicken. Is that jerk chicken? Yeah. Can I eat it right now? It's Can he cold. eat it? It's cold. That is cold. It's right cold. Now. But you know what? He, this guy's got a stomach of champions. You can come see me on Sunday, Thank Section you, 317. Dude. We'll Looks be there. amazing, man. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Sobel and U.S. Bank Stadium. Moving down the line. Moving down. What's happening, everybody? Hi. We got more Where eateries. More we got more stuff. Hello. What's up? How are you? What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Adam Randall. I'm from Adam Soul to Go in the Rosedale Shopping Center. Yes. The Potluck Food Hall. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you guys. Amazing. Yes. This is perfect yes. tailgating food. It so is. Tell us what you got. All right, so we've got smoked wings. These have jerk spice on them, so they're a little bit, they got a little bit of a kick to them. And then, of course, we've got uh, pulled pork sliders with coleslaw, right? Oh, please do. And then smoked ribs, okay? And then rib tips ends of the ribs and then this is kind of a build your own platter I love so that. if your guest or a guest wants to i can build this for them they can get it cold and heat it up themselves or they can get it get day of when it's warm and ready to go you can walk out the door these are i love okay your spice yes. nice little kick yes. to it yes. i would say that's the biggest difference from these love it Good. makes so you want to come back for more thank you I can't help but notice, as a smoker myself, you're, do you sell your, we do. your seasoning? The, we do. The ribs or the spices are all made in house. So this is the wing spice, um, and this is kind of a season also. You can use it for a lot of different things: ribs, chicken, beef, baking, broiling vegetables. It doesn't really matter. It's really, really good. The rib spice or the rib rub for the ribs or for the beef, the rib tips, and then on the Mexi side, we have a Mexi spice. So mm. think kind of taco seasoning but yeah. not cumin forward it's got a lot of different variety and different spices in there you know what so you're doing I, you, do you know what you're doing i've been doing this for a little while are you in the yeah. game for like a friend you need a friend <laughs> johnny's looking for a new best friend yeah. if you know, yeah. well. maybe maybe is it we'll too see. late for people to get orders in if they it want is, it is not no okay. i need um just give me like 24 hours notice yeah. but if you're doing for yeah for this sunday absolutely you can call me get an order in um we can do ribs we can do Everything that you could, you see, we can get it ready for you. How can they really? reach out to you? You can call us directly at the restaurant, um, mm. 651-528-6945, or adamsoultogo.com. Just look us up. You'll find us. I okay, promise we'll be there. We appreciate the food, your time, pleasure, and uh, I love it. Thank You're doing good things. Thanks. Johnny, uh, sorry. You got <laughs> All right, let's continue. We got Smack Shack in the house. I love Smack Shack. You guys are amazing. This looks fire. Whoa. What are we eating? We made a big old paella. For people who don't know what paella is, what is paella? Uh, it's a Spanish rice dish. Uh, we got saffron rice, shrimp, sausage, chicken, mussels, clams. You yeah. guys came to play too with this like cooking device. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we're doing uh, paella patio parties at both Smack Shacks on the 16th, and we're using these guys and cooking them out on the patio for everybody. And what are your names again? I'm Ben, and this is Colin. Chef Ben, Chef Colin, amazing. I don't. How do you even eat a paella? You just scoop it into a bowl. Just scoop it into a bowl and go for it. All right. How many people does that serve? I think. Enough now to do about 15 or 20, I would guess. Can we, can we eat some of that? Can we eat? Oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We, the restaurant too. we do like a 12 inch one at the restaurant that'll feed like two to four people. Can people order it for their own tailgate parties or how does that work? Absolutely, yeah, we can do them to go. I love it. All right, I'm, tra I'm ready to try some paella. Are we gonna do this thing? Yeah, I don't know. Do we have a garbage out here? I just put it on the table. I guess it throws stuff in that thing. Am I good? Oh, there's a garbage there. This looks amazing. What culture does paella come from? Is it Spanish? Spanish. Okay. Yep. This looks yeah, you so good. I am excited about this. Do this. I have something on my face. Your face. <laughs> well, I don't shave in a while, so there's that. <laughs> this my looks money. There you go. All right, John, take oh. this. No, you, I'm taking this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were giving me the food. <laughs> no. Okay, tell, walk me through your experience. It's hot. It looks amazing. Right. Close as she's chewing. People love chewing. Sex. Zoom in. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's good. This is a muscle. I love muscles. Look at this. Can I take a picture oh, of that? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah, the new location. Not everyone loves muscles. I'm a muscle fan. Here. Yeah, the new location in Bloomington is where? France and 494 in the old Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers. Now they got a smack shack. How is it? Mm. Absolutely. So good. Sorry, I was swallowing a muscle. Talk about it. What do we got here? 
Tell, can you walk me through my experience? Yeah. So, sure. So we so we start we start with andouille sausage, and then we have uh, local heirloom cherry tomatoes. Dude. And then uh, those little greens on here. Uh, my, Pop it. Micro cilantro. My, that makes micro whoa. Cilantro. That's gangster, dude. Can we talk about the sangria? It's gangster cilantro. Yeah, we have Jen, there's sangria. Red wine sangria too, because you can't have paella without sangria. <laughs> Who wants the mic? I'm yeah. done. I'll take it. You got food all. I'm gonna tell you right. Is that alcohol? Mm -mm. No. No. It's, okay. Um, alcohol, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Green. I eat a lot of food. Uh, a lot of food. This is gangster. Thank you. Like this, this is, is this is really good. Thank you very much. Well, again, what's the date? September, September 16th. 16th. Three to five. Both Smack Shack patios. <gasps> Paella. It is good. It is good. This is just grape juice. Welch's. All right. I gotta get through here. Watch out for the propane and propane accessories. <gasps> they got a flat top. You know me and my flat tops, everybody. <gasps> what's up, Skull Line? You know I'm a big fan of the drum line, former drummer in high school myself. <laughs> um, who is the leader of the pack? Who's the captain? Okay, how often do you guys practice? Once a week over at the Vikings facility. We're very uh, privileged to be able to access it and have those facilities available to us for sure. So. That's so you guys bring so much energy anywhere you go. Did you guys all come from like college playing with your college bands how did you guys form yeah so a lot of us have marching band backgrounds did yes. marching band high school college some of us did drum corps as well uh but uh, yeah this is just kind of a natural next step for us once we were done with all that so, so when i say roll step you guys know what i mean with roll step yes band nerds yes okay can we hear a little bit from you guys okay i love it roll step Do you want to interview the creator? Uh, drumline with Nick Cannon. Oh I know. So good. So good. All right, we're going over to cheerleaders. Jen was a former cheerleader, so I'll have her interview with the cheerleaders. <laughs> you know, I wasn't a professional cheerleader, but I uh, I was on varsity. I don't know, just said, hey, how long have you guys been uh, cheerleading? What, what is your main goal? You're, being, you're, you're all dancing. You're doing everything to pump up the crowd. What's that like? Yeah, we get them really excited. It's really fun, and it's fun to see the energy in the stadium. Like, everyone's just so excited to be there, excited to cheer on our football team so love it tell me what what is game like game day like for you I mean you're like up close you yeah. got the best seats in the house yes it truly is the best experience ever we love our fan experience being able to be right on the sidelines with all those fans right next to the turf suites is so incredible being able to connect with those fans one-on-one -on -one when they don't really get to see the players one-on-one -on -one, they get to see us and we just get to be there and connect them to that experience and make it really memorable for them even if it is their first game or their last game it's really special to make that experience for them were any of you at the big comp back game last year was it all of you okay you gotta I want to know what was that like to cheer at that game down by like how many bajillion points and then for them to come back what was that like that was amazing it was phenomenal it was kind of interesting going back to the locker room at halftime we're like okay guys like we got it we're trying to amp each other up and then coming back out like we see like the dedicated fans that want to stay after and stay see if they could actually do it and they did and we really stayed for that outcome and it was amazing did you just like throw the pom poms? Oh, like, yeah! <laughs> it was a lot of emotions. It was amazing. It was something that we never will ever compare anything to again. Oh, well, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for pumping up the team. We all get I think we should all get together and do a skull chant. Can we all get together and do a skull chant to end this? Yeah. All right, let's all get over here. Okay. All right, leaders and. Oh, you got, you got your sangria? Oh, Johnny. How does this sangria. start? Arms up. Oh, oh, here we go. 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 